coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Airshow Council selects Hall of Fame inductees. Funds being sought to get precious metal airborne again. Congressional Committee hears that FAA UAS rules are needed. I'm Brie Cross, it's September 14th, 2015, and this is Airborne Unlimited. The International Council of Airshows has selected aerobatic pilot John Moore, airshow announcer M.A. Sunny Everett, and the Formation and Aerobatic Flying Red Baron Pizza Squadron to be inducted into the ICAS Foundation Airshow Hall of Fame. The new inductees will be recognized at a formal banquet ceremony during the 48 ICAS Convention on December 9th in Las Vegas. Airshow Hall of Fame Chairman Steve Oliver said, quote, We had an unprecedented number of nominees this year, which made the selection process that much more challenging, but we are honored to present our latest inductees. These honorees have our deepest respect for all they have contributed to the airshow industry, for the example they set for others, and the inspiration they have given to future generations, end quote. The ICAST Foundation created the Airshow Hall of Fame in 1995 as part of its mission to honor and recognize those who have had a significant impact on the North American airshow industry. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, the precious metal racing team hopes to rebuild the highly modified P-51 that was badly damaged last week during a ground fire. In a post on the Precious Metal Air Racing fan page on Facebook, the team says the plane, quote, does not deserve to be parted out and disappear into the history books as a failed attempt at the world's fastest motorsport. She deserves to rise out of the ashes in true Phoenix fashion and prove her worth, end quote. As with many things, the team realizes the primary fuel for such a project is cash. The Facebook post is also an appeal for donations. As an incentive for donations, the team will give one square inch on precious metal for the donation of $50 towards the rebuild project. They also said that pictures of the donors will be worked into the new paint scheme. The precious metal team will be at the Reno Air Races this year to promote the rebuilding project. After the break, AUVSI says FAA should finalize UAS rules. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at news.net. In prepared testimony last week for the House Judiciary Subcommittee on Courts, Intellectual Property, and the Internet, Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International President and CEO Brian Wynn Thursday called on the federal government to assert its authority over the national airspace system and preempt state laws that seek to regulate airspace. Wynn said in part, quote, We are less than three weeks away from the congressionally mandated deadline of September 30th for the integration of UAS into the national airspace. The FAA has had more than three years to put a small UAS rule in place. When added, the lack of regulations isn't just limiting the economic potential of this industry, it's also causing states and municipalities to fill the void with laws that they may not have the authority to enforce." End quote. While Wynn's opinions are echoed across the UAS industry, the FAA continues to say that it will not meet the congressional deadline date. Each week, we share with you an online video that one of our viewers found especially entertaining. We call it our Arrow Video of the Week. Final lift off of his lift. 
If you have ever camped out under the wing of your airplane, you'll appreciate this video. An airplane called the MVP reinvents the all-purpose recreational vehicle. It floats, it flies, and it's a camper. Search airplane tent and camping on YouTube. After these messages, Boeing increases 767 production. Now certified Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. To fill a major order placed by the FedEx Corporation, Boeing says it will crank up the assembly of 767s by 25% in 2017. FedEx recently ordered 50 of the aircraft and Boeing said that it would now produce 2.5 767s per month. A homeowners association in Central Florida asserts that property owners own a certain amount of airspace over their property. They have urged their members to capture UAVs and hold them to see who comes to the door. This ought to produce some interesting reports. Boeing reports that over the next 20 years, the Asia-Pacific region will have the greatest demand for commercial airline pilots and maintenance technicians. This projected requirement is about 40% of the total global need. The leadership of the Independent Pilots Association called on its members to authorize a pilot strike against United Parcel Service. The union claims the UPS has stalled, delayed, and is prolonging the negotiations. Strike vote results will be announced on October 23rd. The Association of Flight Attendants say they applaud the life-saving actions of the crew of British Airways Flight 2276. This acclamation comes after the successful and harrowing rejected takeoff in Las Vegas last week. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Another new business jet expands its market as EASA has certified Embraer Executive Jet's Legacy 450. Conclusion of the process in Europe follows the recent certification granted by Brazil and the FAA. With a range up to 2,575 nautical miles, the Minlight Legacy 450 can fly nonstop from New York to Las Vegas, Dubai to Moscow, and Jakarta to Hong Kong. Embraer claims the aircraft has the largest cabin in its class, provides comfortable seating for up to nine passengers, and is the first jet in its category to replace conventional controls with full digital fly-by-wire technology. Production of the Legacy 450 has already begun, and the first delivery is scheduled for the fourth quarter of 2015. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.